Let's take a look at a couple filters. Um, these are called T filters because they're shaped like a T. So this one has resistor, resistor, capacitor. This one has capacitor, capacitor, resistor. So we could just kind of take a look, look at these and right away see that this is going to be a, a low pass. Uh, the low frequencies will go through here and they won't go through the capacitor, but the high frequencies will come in. They'll see that capacitor and they'll run through that capacitor and hit ground so they'll get killed. And then this one's just the opposite. The high frequencies will go shooting through, but the low frequencies will have a hard time getting in. Um, so uh, these should have opposite characteristics. Um, I'm going to build these circuits with all the same values. So 10K, 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 0.01, 0.01, 0.01 uh, microfarad capacitors. And so they ha have them on the breadboard here. If I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, so this is the resistor resistor capacitor and you know inputs in ground and then over here i have a capacitor capacitor resistor to ground so they're both here so they're both t's well here's a t and here's a t so we'll look at this one first uh, we'll put the scope on one side and we'll put the generator on the other side so Things are coming in here and going out here. And let's take a look at the uh, oscilloscope. And we have a low pass filter, which makes sense. All of the high frequencies are being attenuated. All right. Oh, and that, uh, I'm sorry, I should explain the sweep. It's from uh, one hertz to one megahertz. Um, in logarithmic scales. So the very center of the um, display is one kilohertz, right? So this, this filter is starting to roll off right at one kilohertz. All right, so let's go to the other one. This is the other T circuit. So we'll move our input and outputs over here. And uh, that should, oops. Now we need to move our grounds over. All right, that looks good. So we are coming in here, going through the capacitors and going out here. And we have a high pass filter. And the high pass filter, about the 50% 50 50 intensity is right at one kilohertz. Um, so that's again what everything is of 10k, 10k, and uh, 0.01. All right, so now we're going to do uh, something unusual. Uh, we're going to take our circuit. Let's go back to our circuit here. I can draw over here. Okay, I'm going to combine these two circuits. So I'm going to tie these two points together and I'm going to tie these two points together, right? So this is called a twin T filter. There's two T's, so it's a twin. So um, we're going to have a high pass filter and a low pass filter in the same circuit. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, we need to do a couple things. First of all, we need to tie these two grounds together so they're the same. So this, this little wire here connects the two grounds or the two T's. And um, we're going to tie uh, two of the ends of the T together and they already are in, in, this, um, in this breadboard. They're tied right here at the center. So that's already done for us. Now we need to tie the other two ends of the T's which are these sides. So we're going to put a wire from here to here and that will, uh, that will again uh, be wired like this. So now we have this where we have the generator coming on this side and the oscilloscope connected to this side. And we get a notch filter. Uh, so this is a twin T filter. Uh, you can uh, find equations for calculating uh, things to pick the right components for the shape of the uh, of the notch filter you want. But uh, 
This is going to be important in audio circuits if you want to attenuate a particular frequency. So this particular filter that we've just built is attenuating around, I'd say around two kilohertz. Uh, it has a, it has a, uh, a dip at two kilohertz. So if you had a an audio filter where you wanted to get rid of some uh, problems in your amplification around two kilohertz, you, you can do this. So a lot of times in speech circuits, uh, the sibilance frequencies, uh, the S's and P's and, and, and smacky sounds of lips and stuff, um, in, in males can happen somewhere between, I think, 2 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz. And in females, it's more like 5 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz, something like that. But um, it'd be nice to have a filter like this that you could tune uh, to match a particular voice. Um, and then the amount of attenuation uh, you could choose by putting in a variable resistor somewhere in the circuit, either on the input or the output. Uh, to vary the amount that the circuit uh, the circuit uh, affects the uh, the outcome.